And there he is, folks, everybody's favorite pull tab coming on down to the beach to see what the depositors have left for us. Uh, welcome to another episode of Jersey Digs. Chris is selfish up here, pull tab Thomas coming on down. Clouds in the sky, so we might have to delay this by a few minutes, but uh, we're going to be doing some beach metal detecting. The water's uh, it's high tide, um, so I don't know how much we're going to get down there, so a little dry sand detecting today. Looks ominous. First dig coming your way. All right, so we're still detecting. I don't hear any thunder, so hopefully things are good. But first dig of the day, you'll never guess it. Some aluminum foil rang up as a 17. Next dig, coming on up. I've been talking to Pull Tab in a news reporter voice since he got on the beach, and uh, he said he's here for the gold today, everyone, and he didn't even give me a chance to to pull my, my phone out and record this, but he just pulled this out of the ground, out of the sand. And uh, yeah, it looks like we have ourselves our first jewelry of the day. It looks... Pretty nice, man. Not gonna lie. And I thought I saw something. It is Kendra Scott. I don't know what that means. I'm not seeing anything. What's... Yeah, I don't think it's... Uh, yeah, probably nothing special, everyone. But I said I wanted to come to this little tourist beach because every time I walk through it, I pull a lot of junk jewelry. And chances are one of these days is not going to be junk jewelry. But... Check it out, everybody. Pull tab literally stepped onto the beach, turned his detector on, and found this. So oh, hopefully, sorry. good sign of things to come. Mr. Pull tab, in your hands now. We're not gonna go that way, at least not yet. Next dig. All right, so we're coming off. It's thundering, but before I left, found an earring. Literally second signal of the day, everybody. Um, I was here a little bit before pull tab, but just walked off with a nice silver earring. Literally two signals, two pieces of jewelry. Good sign, hopefully, of things to come. I'm thinking maybe we picked the right beach today get my shoes but uh yeah everyone's leaving the beach we're gonna let this storm pass and we'll be right back all right this is chris here from jersey digs what's the weather like uh, with doppler thomas well today we're gonna have a thunderstorm directly where we want to be <laughs> there's no more there's no rain in the entire state except for literally right where we chose to go detecting today I don't know what that's all about. Call it bad luck. We're banking that the sands are going to be more conductive, hopefully, when we get back out there. And the silver and gold comes flying out of the ground. Um, if you can't tell, we're really bored. We've been waiting for 20-something minutes now for the storm to pass. Next dig. All right, everyone. Storm stopped. On our way back. Next dig's coming your way. <laughs> Seems like it's going to be a sketchy signal type of day, but I have a 16-17. What do we got? And I'm out of here. All right, everybody. And that's going to be an episode. See you on the next dig. All right, guys. Another day, another dig. Pull Ted Thomas. Chris, it's over. It's never. I know I said next episode, but it's not the next episode. But I have a feeling it's going to be the same as the last scene. We have clouds chasing us. And uh, we knew this one was coming. We have about an hour before it gets hectic over here. So next dig coming your way. All right, so down here yet again, pardon the wind. Pull tab on the first signal, it looks like. We're racing that, and you can just feel the wind and the energy just getting sucked into that storm. So it's going to be a fun one. We'll go until it thunders. I'm not trying to play the same game as last time. But really, we thought the storm was over at that last clip. Like, the sun came out and everything. And, uh, just... You got a signal? What do you got? 50 cents. 50 cents? You got 11 cents, one hole. And I'm right by the entryway here. I have an 11, which I'll dig. Because sure, why not? I think it's falling through the scoop, possibly. Let's see. There it is. All right, first signal back on the beach is a piece of aluminum. Pull tab has 11 cents. Next dig. First signal, just about at the high tide line, so something to note for everybody. There's this cut here. I think I talked about it in the last few videos. The beach is a good, I'd say 15 feet shorter than it was in the beginning of the season. So it's a really good sign for that wet sand beginning to produce. But I have a pretty crispy 23 right here, right where I found that earring before in the scoop. And my 23 is more aluminum. Oh, uh, it's going to be a hunt with this storm. Please go away, storm. Next dig. Got what sounds like my first coin of the evening. 45. Slow, for sure. Yep, we got a dime. 
that storm coming ever closer. They said it was about 40 miles north of us last time we checked, which was about 10 minutes ago. Now, I don't know how quickly storms move, but it looks like it's on its way. Pull tabs had a good amount of change. Sounds like my second coin of the day. Maybe a really fresh bottle cap. Nope, second coin of the day is a penny. We're moving and grooving. We're at that beach where we found the jewelry, so we're just finally getting around to just gritting the dry sand. It's high tide, so, you know, we're not going to detect too much down there, especially when the, the waves are a good bit rough. Next dig. On with what sounds to be my second quarter of the day. Thought I recorded my first quarter, but I didn't record my first quarter. So you're going to see my second quarter. It's a 50. I think I buried it a little. Come on. It's out. Along with a band aid. Yep, there he is. George number two. We're moving slow, but it seems like the storm is moving slow too, so good things. Next day. So, debatable find of the day before I get out of here. Bring up like a bottle cap. We have an Assateague Island number one dad. Oh, yeah, what a gift. Nice blade. Um, all right. Got that in my pocket. I got pull tab in the distance. He just called me and said he's at about two bucks in clad. I am nowhere near that. I detected the the wet sand a little bit, as far as deep as I could really get into it. Now I'm just kind of making my way back because uh, I definitely saw a few flashes of lightning in the distance, and I can only assume that it's coming my way yet again gonna make a bold attempt to get out tomorrow morning and uh do some detecting but a lot of it's gonna come down to if i wake up or not you know i'd love to get out before the crowds and before the uh the little beach cleaner guy comes around and takes all the goodies i don't know if he takes the goodies or not it kind of seems like he does and at the same time it does seem like he doesn't he might even expose him as... anyway making my way to pull tap next dig all right everyone so I made it, third round in the morning. It's currently 5.30ish, 5.40ish, and the beach has a good amount of people on it already, but they're there for this. Look at the beautiful sunrise going on right now at the Jersey Shore. You don't get too many looking that good, but every now and again, um, I'm going this way this time. I know I said in the beginning of the video, wasn't going this way yet. Finally made it around to having the time to go this way. We got rained out twice in a row. No storms today, those are just some morning clouds. Next dig, coming up. Figure I'll catch you guys a nice glimpse of this sunrise before I get going here. I forget how many people really aren't able to see the sun come up on the Jersey Shore. It's something that I, uh, I guess I take for granted at times. But then again, I've never seen the sun set on the, Jer on the uh, Jersey Shore. I've never been to the West Coast. So you guys got it pretty good over there as well. At least you're out and about during that time. It's pretty hard to get up and get here to see this. So uh, yeah, beautiful sunrise this morning. Beautiful waves, it's a gorgeous day. Next day. And first signal of this morning is gone. Oh, no, there it is. Uh, penny this morning. It's not slow at all. I've been heavily distracted by the sunrise that's going on. That looks gorgeous. The, the video does it no justice. Next day. First Batmobile of the morning. Nothing special yet. Next day. All right, so I see this one, but, but it's not making sense. So there's a dime on the ground. I see it, just freshly dropped, but it's ringing a 47, 48. Do I have a silver dime? It's a silver dime where there's two dimes next to one another. Let me see what this is. Yeah, I freaking do. 1964, yeah, I have a silver dime. So that means someone got changed from the boardwalk. It was a silver and then they dropped it at the beach for a metal detector to find. Talk about uh, luck, but I have a 1964 Rosie. Okay, that was the last thing I was expecting to find at the beach. And folks, I think that marks my first legitimate silver at the beach. That's craziness. <laughs> and I haven't showed many clad signals. I've kind of just been picking them up, but that one, that one threw me for a loop. Had a weird number here. Sounds like a bottle cap, but you know what? 
I just got the rosy. Let's take it out. Right there. <laughs> By the way, I know my headphones aren't paired to my detector. I've tried a few times and it just hasn't worked. Even worse, it's head stake. But I'll take the silver dime and a 10 stake. Sunrise is progressing nicely. I'm probably going to take a photo of that next day. Okay, I don't know what the sketchy one. Sounds mighty bottle cappy. It's going from like a 40 to a 10, but I'll take it out. Why not? I think I felt it already. And it's a vape. Yep, yeah, no more silver coins, by the way. I went through it. The rest was just modern pennies. But I'm here for a little while more. It's uh, not too hot yet. I'm kind of working like behind the high tide line and the towel line. I worked the towel line for a good ways and it was productive. Not much. Next dig. Twenty stone. Maybe I can get my uh, nickel today. I don't even think I have a Jeff yet. That's a little too choppy to be that. Might see something there. Might not. Yeah, I think I do see something there. No, I definitely don't. It's a crushed pull tab that kind of looked like jewelry with the sand on it. Next thing. Another dime signal. See, that's like what a dime rings at normally. 45, 46. The silver ones ring up as 47, 48 for the most part, unless they're like thinned out or beat up. So. Note for the newbies, if you're watching this. Man, this sand is soaked. Yeah, see? Modern dime. I don't even get a look at it. The 45, 46 range. Next thing. Another one just poking his head right out of the sand. It's going to be everyone's favorite dig. Because they sound pretty good. They sound like some silver jewelry. Sometimes a crushed can. Another car. What do we got? Tesla here? No, we got an Acura. Ugh. I don't want the toy cars. I can make Chris's toy car shop with the amount of toy cars I have at home, folks. I'm, my wife is starting to get mad at me for how many toy cars I have. I am a grown child. Next day. Got a uh, quarter, quarter, and a penny right at the high tide line. So for those who aren't new to beach detecting or aren't familiar with beach detecting, basically you want to try to time your hunts when it's low tide. Now I'm doing a terrible job at that. I'm always here at high tide because I just stink at it, but you do want to time your hunts around the tide cycle because this, uh, this water line will raise and lower by about four to five feet on average, um, you know, every day. So you always want to look at the tide cycle of your beach, try to get it at low tide so you have the most beach to cover. And essentially what's happening here is they, they replenish the sand. So you're looking at about six feet of sand above the water line. High tide comes up starts depleting this towel line that was once here and all the deposits should get concentrated down there but it's not really happening today i'm tending to find a lot of signals like right here just where the waves are like whipping and just kind of clearing it out a bit but um I'll keep going here that's my tidbit of the day next day got a pull tab signal can't wait for the day that they make a metal detector that foregoes pull tabs and just goes straight to the gold but you got to dig them if you want the gold one of these days It'll be something, but for now, it's just another pull tap. Next take. More junk aluminum. I've been tacking these low tones, but nothing. But if I show you this, folks, people tent camping right there. I am pretty sure they legitimately just camped at Point Beach because when I was walking up to the tent, it was zip closed and they came out in like sweatpants and sweatshirts. Like they just spent the whole evening camping at the beach, which I didn't know was possible, you know? And point of all places. Maybe they like, got drunk at like the tiki bar and they were like, oh, we're all too wasted to drive home. <laughs> I got a tent in the back. <laughs> Let's just sleep on the beach. Sounds, sounds romantic, we'll say. But uh, I don't think Point would be my beach of choice for some camping, but they were alone all night. Just surprised they, uh, they didn't run into any trouble. Looks like they've been here the whole evening. Anyway, 
my rant's done. Next thing. All right, on it with a 25 cent signal, and it is starting to get hot out here. Might be a toy car. Let's see. No, that's a solid 50. Where are you? I think I see it right there. Okay. 25 cents richer. I just need a nickel for the cycle. It's uh, 1983. Now, after that silver dime, I think everything's going to be silver. But just need a nickel for the cycle. Next dig. All right. Can confirm there's nothing down in the wet. I've been detecting down here for about 20 minutes now, and I haven't heard a peep. Started as close to the water as I could, which it's pretty much right up on me. Because it is high tide, or just about high tide. Did I speak too soon? I have a signal. I have a 40 stone. I don't like my back being at the waves, but just work quick. Watch it take me forever to get this out. No, I got it. Give it a little. Hey, you know what? Let's use the water. Is there another one? I definitely spoke too soon. Let's dump this out. And it's gone. No, I'm kidding. It's right there. Oh, now you don't want to come, waves. Uh, beautiful morning though. The water temperature is really nice. Got a penny. And that's all I really found was a bunch of crusties. Which is not worth it. And they're really light, so it's telling me the heavy stuff ain't here. Where's that other signal? I think I lost one. Or it slipped through. One or the other. Anyway, just wanted to inform you guys. Nothing in the wet here on these uh, northernish beaches. Next dig. So I think every time that I say there's nothing in the in the wet, I get signals. But I have a 30, 34, 35. It sounds pretty nice. Don't be a crusty penny. Be a gold ring. Watch those waves. 36 from this angle. Could be a penny. Could be anything, honestly. Who knows? Where are you? Well, I see something down there. What is this gonna be? Looks like one of those fake uh, pirate coins. But I doubt that's gonna be real. But if it is real, I'm in for a whole world of good stuff. Hey, yeah, check it out. Pretty sure they make these right at the boardwalk. I'll obviously go home and look at it, but it don't feel like nothing special. Next dig. All right, so the tippy, tippy top of the high tide line is producing. Right where it's eating away at this replenishment. I have a 45, 46. Found a few pennies uh, down here. Does any other detectorist ever wonder, like, what's hiding just, like, 10 feet off the shore? It's like, I fantasize about it. Like, imagine there's, like, a tsunami. I don't want a tsunami on New Jersey, don't get me wrong. But you know how, like, the water gets sucked out? beforehand and the sand is so thick like i want to be here when the water gets sucked out and just detect for like three minutes you know that's all i need out there just to confirm that there's stuff come on water that's a big wave oh yeah that's a big wave got a dime was it worth it always is just watching my back these waves are starting to get sharp next dig I think I might have my Jeff of the day. Took a little while. I have the beach cleaner coming to me though, so I gotta be quick. Oh yeah, there we go. Got my Jeff, finally made the cycle. I've been working between the, the dry sand and the high tide line. Kind of bouncing back and forth as I feel like the high tide line gets a little boring and nothing's coming out. Bounce around in the dry, pull some change out. 41, 42, 43. Gotta dig it, probably a penny. Hoping for a gold ring. Dump that out. Well, it sounds terrible. Thought this guy was coming for me for a second. How dare he get in the way of my bottle cap. Now I can't tell, guys. I really can't. Is he taking everything off the beach? It looks like he's just combing it, literally. Um. But there's like a weird conveyor belt thing on the back of it. So like, is it picking up sand and taking the crap out of it and the good stuff? I don't know. I mean, I'm finding stuff 
where he did it, but maybe I'd be finding more if he didn't do it. Thanks, dig. All right, nearing the end of my hunt. And by nearing the end of my hunt, I probably got like 10 more signals out of me. I'm tired. Getting early, getting up that early in the morning really beats you up. Penny, especially when I get up early all week. Like, it's kind of natural, but at the same time, I feel like I just need that day of, like, relaxing at my house, doing nothing to, like, replenish myself for these types of activities. I work in the heat all day, so to come out and embrace the heat is tough, and that sun is really getting up there at this point. I think it's about 7.30, so I've been here, I've been here give or take two hours now. It's been a bit. Um, like I said, I'm kind of just gritting the dry. Moving down to the wet here and there when I feel like it. Next dig. Here we are with some nice numbers. 2830, a little higher than a pull tab. Hopefully. Let's see what we got. We have nothing. It's gone. Huh. Oh, there she is. It's my best friend. Mr. Zipper pull. Uh, next. More change. Quarter. I think I'm going to move up to uh, the uh, southern side of this beach. It's definitely more quiet, but I feel like it's less detected. Not that I think any of this has been detected in a while, but it's slower than I'd like it to be for getting up so early. Next dig. All right. Got a mid-tone right in the high, right in the high, uh, height of the sand. It's like a 30s. This might debatably be the last one of the day, depending upon what it is. 35. Don't see any shiny use yet. Just don't be a zipper pull. It's right there. Yeah, it's getting hot. And someone's cooking bacon, and it smells so good. It's another zipper. <laughs> Can't escape these things. Polo. Uh, I might got one more in me. Let's see. More quarter tones. Nice 50. No complaints on the change, but it's nice to get a little more jewelry. Silver dime was a treat. Right here. Yep, more Georges. And it's a Virginia George. Still haven't made it to that quiet beach yet, but I don't know if I'm gonna. Getting tired and hungry. Next dig. High 20s, low 30s. How about another zipper pull, huh? Make my day, beach. I wonder if I'm the only guy that digs out all these zipper pulls. And how are people losing so many zipper pulls? Boy, that sun's getting hot. It's about eight o'clock. 27, 28, a little higher than a pull tab. Thinking it's a pull tab though, just cause I see nothing. Yep, it's a the bronze aged pull tab. Sup, it says. I must have dug out, if I were guessing, probably about 18 pull tabs so far today. Next dig. All right, so I got myself, it's a Ferris 14. For the most part, but I think I see a little bit shining through right there. Yeah, we got the first ring of the day. That took a while. Ring is a ring is a ring. Not gold, obviously. Would have been a lot cooler if it was. But one crusty ring, I guess, for the pouch. Next dig coming up. All right, my people, on this 38. This 37, excuse me, I think I'm going to call it a day. I'll detect on the way back, but I'm hot and I'm hungry. It smells like bacon at the beach, which is uh, making me hungrier. There we go, finally got it. Ah, oh, look at that, a little jewelry to end the day. It's uh, some torp of a uh, weird bracelet. It feels weird. At a 27, 28, obviously not anything special. Some type of weird beaded bracelet. Sure, I'll take it home with me. Uh, I'm gonna walk. If anything good comes out, I'll just show you the reveal. Um, yeah, I got a good hundred feet to my uh, to my entryway. So 
you know, I'll probably do a wrap up for this one. I think we found enough stuff. You guys should see everything I dug. Um, see you there. All right, everyone, we're home. The finds are cleaned up. Welcome to the wrap up. If you made it this far, consider throwing a like on the video. Certainly helps me out. Let's get right into it. This board looks a little fuller than it typically does if you watch my videos regularly. I typically don't include all the junk, all the pull tabs, and a good amount of the miscellaneous finds as well. I usually just sweep off the board and show you the good stuff. But I wanted to show you folks this because I'm beginning to realize that most people watching my videos, they're either very seasoned detectorists or very new detectorists. And I just want to make it known to the new detectorists or those getting into this hobby that it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You really have to dig out a lot of junk, let's face it, to get to some good signals. So, you know, I dug out 24 pull tabs today to get rewarded with one silver earring that rang up exactly the same as these pull tab but I would have never dug this should I have been avoiding these signals so you know there's a lot of detectorists out there new and old to the hobby that they may avoid these scratchy sketchy junky targets but in reality you're potentially walking over good stuff I will say I've always been surprised or blindsided when it was a good find because I've been digging stuff like this out all day and all of a sudden that gold ring appears or something. But um, all in all, not a bad hunt, pretty full board. You're looking at the result of about three hours of metal detecting. Um, skunk those first two days. So the first like seven minutes of this video, you folks only probably saw a reality of 25 minutes of metal detecting before those storms pushed us off two days in a row. The third day, I definitely got out there and uh, certainly was rewarded, but all in all, let's get right into it. Bunch of junk, five bottle caps, 24 pull tabs, $3.46 in change, with one being a silver Roosevelt. So this is worth like, you know, two, three bucks to the right person. But um, last thing I expected to come out and... Um, if you ever are looking at coins and you can't see the date and you want to try to figure out if it's silver, look at the rim. The rim will be a solid silver band as opposed to a clad one where you have the half copper exposed in there. So just something to note again for newbies. You know, if you can't see the date and you think it might be silver, if it's really shiny like that, chances are it is. If it's a little gray looking like this one, chances are it's not. But always look at the rim. The rim will be the true identifier. Um... I did find a gold doubloon. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, but yeah, you know, it's cool to see this type of stuff. Definitely gets the heart pumping for a second, but it is junk. It's corroding on the sides. It's got black on it. If it was a gold coin, it would have made my day, but fortunately not. Um, another piece of junk jewelry, junk bracelet, carabiner, uh, three toy cars, two vapes, Sharpie, tent stake, and uh, this guy. I found this guy on the second day we went out before we went metal detecting. So this rang up like a bottle cap. So also goes to show, you know, if you're even avoiding those bottle cap signals, sometimes they are fun stuff. Most of the time they are just bottle caps. So I'll be honest, I if there were a signal I'm avoiding, it's usually ferrous bottle cappy sounding signals. You know, they're just not worth your time. Always nails or maybe at best some junk jewelry or a pocket knife like this, but this is a keeper. Sorry, I took someone's uh, number one dad's um, pocket knife, but it is what it is. And uh, outside of that, everyone, that's a video, you know, um, not a bad hunt. Two little pieces of silver, nice little earring, thunderstorms, sunrises, beautiful days at the beach. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next day.